I want you to look at the rhythm on the board and the bowings. So we've got a six count note because of a tie. But because it is double forte or fortissimo, we are going to switch our bow direction partway through so that we can maintain that extremely loud volume. And then it is down, up, down, up. Now, if you don't end up having these bow markings written in your music, we'll give you a chance later to write them in. Let's try this on the D string. Now, don't worry if we don't change exactly together to the up bow. It's better to be staggered on that change anyway so that the sound stays smooth to our audience's ears. Here we are on D string for this rhythm. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and. Let's do that again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and. Now, look in your music at number five and see if this bowing is written in. If it's not, please add it, especially this up bow marking halfway through the long note. In your music, you might have a bow lift there, but if we change to the up bow, you will not need that bow lift. Violas, we're gonna explore some of the chromatic notes that we have in Phantom of the Opera. And it starts with our first finger E on the D string, and then we have to pull it back for the D sharp, and then open D for regular, and then extension third finger C sharp, and adjust it to regular C. I'll demonstrate what they sound like. E, pull back D sharp, open D, extension C sharp, C natural, regular. Okay, so we have to do a one, one, open string, three, three. Okay, let's try that together. Play the E, D sharp, open, extension C sharp, C natural. Okay, so now I would like to play in a rhythm and see if we can keep that steady. Okay, you can watch the board behind me to help you remember the fingers. Three, four. Extension. Let's do that one more time. One, two. One more time. Three, and. Now let's try climbing up the other way. Play C, C sharp extension, open, D sharp, E. Let's do that again, regular C, C sharp, D, e, D sharp, E. Now let's try that in a steady rhythm, I'll demonstrate. Let's try that together, set up your regular C. Four and one more time for and let's try it faster now like this speed so we're going to try to go twice as fast c c sharp d d sharp e and here we are Now we've got the bowing and the rhythm we worked on before, and now we're adding these chromatic notes in there. Let me demonstrate five. One, two, three, switch bow, one and two and. Try this together at number five. Regular first finger. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and. Extension, regular, two, three switch bows. Starts with regular again. Four, 
viola players, I want you to find the note at number 15, and I want you to play that shifted. So we're gonna be in third position, but on the G string, so that our D is second finger. And then if you have already started learning vibrato, you can vibrate on these longer notes. So at 15, we start on the up bow on count two. So I would shift back for that low A, and then back up again for those long Ds coming up. Let's try this at 15. Three, four, rest. Three, four, one, two, three, four, shift and rest. Three, four, one, two, three, four, shift to third position, second finger, three, four, one, two, three, four, rest. playing a little bit at 23 and we're just going to jump in there because these are some more of our standard rhythms here. 23, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, rest. what we had at five. Now let's start at five and play all the way up to 31. Here we are at five, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, G string for rest. Three, four, one, two, three, four, shift down. Three, four, one, two, three, shift back up, rest. Three, four, one, two, three, four, rest. Two, Two, three, four, one, 